And slowly you come to realize it's all as it should be. People of the internet, how are you today? We got another episode of the great show. The show beyond all shows. An hour with same pie. And with our great senpai looking good today, Brian <laughs> Strokal. How are you, my friend? Uh, for, for a second, I thought I was going to do your... I thought about doing your normal intro, just like Salam <laughs> alaikum. <laughs> Dark Cry Q8. Uh, I guess I guess I did it, but I, I thought I would I was gonna be more uh Hey, you you sounded fine. Smoother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm doing good Aziz. It's it's early in the morning. Mm-hmm. I'm about to judge a league a league cup. Nice, nice. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's gonna be fun. All right, let's jump straight in. Let's dive. Let's dive, my friend. Let's dive. <laughs> All right. We're going to start with locals. Post Lost Thunder format. What happened to your locals, my friend? Uh, we actually had a, we had a tournament uh, on a couple nights ago. Mm-hmm. And I, I've, I've posted about this a couple of times uh, locally, but... Lost Thunder is a really good set. And we have a bunch of different decks show up. The The most interesting one that I saw played was Genesect Naganadal. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, actually, not bad. It's It's got a lot of... I think it's got a lot of things to it. Um, I've been playing a lot more online, and I've encountered... Six new decks. Huh, interesting. That exist that are not horrible hmm. and exist because Lost Thunder is a set. Mm-hmm. Uh I'm really I'm really impressed. It, it's been it's been cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, in my opinion is Lost Thunder is one of the best sets, if not the best set since we started this channel. Like Yeah. So far it's it's it's, it's Mind blowing, for meta, for casual, for troll players, for everybody. It's just a uh, set for everybody. <clears throat> Our locals, we got uh, Scissor Frying Pan topped the locals. Scissor GX Frying Pan. I I played against that. That is an, that is another deck that I don't think is is that bad. Mm, the deck is a lot of fun. Uh, and, uh, cheers to my friend Yusuf who played the deck. Like, like that was a fun deck to watch and to see how he he played it. Like, uh, no pun intended, but solidly he played it. <laughs> like, so, he played it solidly. He did not make like maybe fair a few mistakes. Like he played it. He played it good. He played it good. And it was a winner box tournament. So yeah, Zarok uh, Scissor uh, Scissor Frying Pan took the box. That was fun to watch. <laughs> Yeah. All right. For me, I'm playing uh, Lost March this uh, uh, this format. I like the deck. The deck is quirky and fun. Um, but I'm missing my four jump loves. <laughs> 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 I got all the cards except the four jump loves. We opened the box. Nada. Zero. Well, uh, I I think uh, I could help you out with that, Aziz. Mm-hmm. Um, we just got Jump, Jump Luff is the most recent League promo card. Oh, all right. So, uh, I don't I don't think it would be necessarily a violation to uh, you know stick some Jump Luffs in the mail. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, all right. Well, Kuwait is not official, so it's, it's I think it's not a violation whatsoever. <laughs> well. I don't know. I think I think you came to our. Oh, my hand once, slipped so. in the mail all the way through Kuwait. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk about that later, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, that would be great. It will save me like forty <laughs> bucks. I, I would appreciate that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nobody heard anything, my friends. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. 
Alright, now I'm in great mood. Alright, this this the best all of Senpai so far. <laughs> 40 bucks to buy more diapers, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Dude, when I clapped, the whole brightness like shook off. I don't know what happened. <laughs> brightness is weird now. I don't know, it's the, the power of saving money, I guess. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's start the tournaments. First tournament is the Sao Paulo Internacional in Brazil. 630 players, 630 players lost March format. And we got uh, our boy, Thor Dreklev, making it to top eight, but not winning the event. But he made the top eight by somebody disqualifying. He was he was ninth place, but somebody got mm-hmm. queued and he was eighth. But seeing Thor topping is always heartwarming. Top eight, we got uh, winning the event Zoroark Control. Second place Grumble. Third place Zoroark. Uh, Zoro what is it? Was Zoroark the Sejuai Nine Tails? Fourth mm-hmm. place Zoroark the Sejuai. Fifth place Buzz Lichen Nine Tails. Sixth place, Zoroar Control. Seventh place, B- Blessfalon uh, Naganadal. Eighth place, Grumble. What do you think about this Lost thun- um, post Lost Thunder format? What do you think about it? Um, I'm honestly really impressed by the f- this format. There are a lot of good decks right now. And a lot of good decks that are also cheap. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I think all is a completely fine deck to take to a tournament. Which um, deck? Uh, like, which deck? Uh, Grand Bull. Yeah, Grand Bull. Oh, definitely, yes. Uh, I don't think there's anything inherently weak about it. There's um, uh, the um, Buzzwall. There's a, a, a deck that is basically... It's like Buzzwall Lycanroc, but it plays Weavile... And uh, Nine Tails as well, mm-hmm. and it, it's basically a, a take on all comers deck. Mm-hmm. And, and Nine Tails is the only expensive card in it. Actually, I don't even think Nine Tails is that expensive. But N- that deck is also it's really good. Piece. Forty bucks. Was that? No, yeah, and I'll Nine Tails GX is forty bucks a piece. Let me check real quick. <clears throat> yeah, the, the price got increased by a lot. And to be fair, that is the best card in standard. Yeah, yeah, dude. I think it's very fair for that for for that card to be at that price. Other than Nine Tails. All right, other than Nine Tails GX clocking. Uh, Where's it? Uh, the full art is fifty bucks. The regular art is out of stock in thirty bucks. Thirty-five, thirty. Right. I really, I, I can't help but laugh at the price difference between, mm. <laughs> so so I'm looking at TCG player and Alolan, Fairy Alolan Nine Tails, market price $35. Mm-hmm. And then you look at the one that is water and it is $2. <laughs> oh God, the power creep is real. Like, <laughs> you're, you're not, you're not as, as pretty as me. Go away. It's like these beauty contests, you know, it's just. <laughs> Cut throat. <laughs> You're not as beautiful as me. Water. Filth. Fairy Master Race. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. You can't get two cards for free, so you're yeah. not as good. Yeah, of course. All right. So, what do you think about the top eight? Like, we see one, two, three, four Zoroark decks, which is which acts, which is actually very normal in any tournament. Yeah. What do you think about um, the Blessful on? deck like i think the, the next tournament will be uh, with every tournament there will be more representation of this deck in the top cuts well if you look at um there's a there was a chart for mm-hmm. the regionals in virginia 25 percent of players brought blacephalon oh my god well, that's a lot that's yeah. a lot of players um and the main reason is that you can. It, it's an extremely simple deck. Uh, it's in many ways 
similar to Rayquaza mm-hmm. in the way that in the way that it sets up its board, mm-hmm. and that you put a bunch of energy on your board, and then you hit them really hard, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that's that's it. I guess uh, simple decks get a lot of how can I say a lot of fame because it's you know simple, fun, um, fast in order to beat time. It's either mm-hmm. you win or you lose. There is no gray area in that deck. It's not like Zoroark control. Like halfway through the game, you don't know your you know your state or what I'm doing. I don't know. Am I trolling am I, or am I getting trolled? Something like that. Like so Zoroark control need more of the brains to to, to function. Like if you mm-hmm. if you're not feeling like you can think, I don't think Zoroark any Zoroark variation would be the best option. Like. Rayquaza is great. Blessifalon is great, especially if you want to secure the top card. The, uh, like mm-hmm. getting in the top card, like Zoroark is good, but I don't think it like it will secure you. You may not win the event by playing Blessifalon, but you you will make it into top card. This is my opinion, I guess. Oh yeah, and you don't you don't have to really sit there and and mm-hmm. tire yourself out overthinking your plays. You can just go, all right, I'll just hit him. Yeah, I'm just hit him really, really, really hard. <laughs> All right. Anything you, any deck you, uh, you want to mention? All right. I wanna, I wanna mention the tenth place, Zoroark Glaceon, because this is mm. my deck right now, and uh, this is my deck, and uh, my stream, my rules, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me see. We got four, four Zoroark, three, two Glaceon, one, one Macargo, one Ditto Prism, one Alolan Muk. And uh, two Tapalele GX, one Marshadow. I like the Alolan Muck. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, I got the Ditto Prism, so if I get the Alolan Muck, might as well. That's it's, it's 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 nice. Six four water, six four energies, four Cynthia, three. Da, da. Let me see. We got four Cynthia's, three Guzmans, one Lily, one Tate, one Kukui, one Acerola, one Apricorn Maker, four also ball, three Nest Ball, two, two Aqua Patch. Okay, that's weird. One mm-hmm. Tumble Ball, one Enhanced Hammer, one Field Blow, Rescue Patch, one Pub Switch, two Choice Band, one Devoured Field. All right. I don't, I don't hate the list, but I don't like it too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, sounds fun. Any deck you want to wanna mention or something before we move on? Uh, Let me see. I haven't actually looked at the, the Sao Paulo. Um, oh, w- we should talk about Steelix Mill. Oh, the Steelix, uh, the thirtieth place, is it? Yeah. Oh, that... there was a cut. Co- All right. Go there ahead. was a bunch of them in 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 day one. Uh, some of them were actually at the top. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but I, I just want to highlight it because this is a deck that is going. It's not going to go away. It's mm-hmm. not that it's good. It's just annoying. Yeah, and we got the unknown. I hate it. I despise it. Because of the unknown, mm-hmm. not the deck itself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see the cancer like blowing up f- from this deck. Like, yeah, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you hate this game, and being born too. Mm-hmm. All right, three onyx, two steelix, two opal. <laughs> got me the the, the goosebumps, the, the things. <laughs> Dude, I hope I don't play against this deck. It's, I think it's boring to play against or with. Oh yeah, and the the tournament report is said in 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 eleven rounds mm. of play, I attacked twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that guy. But the, the whole tournament, like nine rounds, and day two, I attacked twice. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure it was with. Uh, resource management to put some cards back in the deck oh, oh my god all right and we got from top 64 we have the 61 61st place the one and only lost lost march in this um <laughs> in this uh, whatever, this thing so yeah i don't think lost march actually got it yeah you said before like i think there will be more representation in the in the following tournaments but yeah, you can see that Lost March is a hit and miss. It's like roguish type of deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Mm. Nice. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the next tournament. Uh, then we we will summarize a conclusion of our opinions on the format. What deck you think you would g- it's gonna be the best or the dominant? All right. Next one is the Virginia. Uh, how can I spell this? Rowan. Uh, what's the region? What's what's the name of the town? Ro. Uh, it's Roanoke. Roanoke. Hey, that's that's a lot of. <laughs> That's a lot of yeah. vowels. That's a lot of vowels. Ah. Yeah, it's it's from uh it's from uh the native language. Oh, I see. All right, all right. Oh, t- oh, and the holy, what is this? Like nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's a <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! And second place too. Like that's a lot of blasphemies in one tournament. All right. First place we got Gardevoir Swampert Nine Tails. Second place Blissfulon. Third place is Zoroark Sajuai Nine Tails. Fourth place is Zoroark Sajuai Nine Tails. Fifth place Psychic Malamar. Sixth place is Lost March. Oh nice in the top eight. Seventh place is Ultra Malamar. Eighth place is Blissfulon. And there are a lot of Blissfulon in this. Mm-hmm. What's Regigigas Hooper? What is this? <laughs> oh my god, there are a lot of weird people here. All right, what do you think about this tournament? Uh, this was pretty cool. I uh, um, I had a few of my friends go to this tournament, mm-hmm. and I I'm pretty surprised by the decks that came out of top eight. Mm-hmm. Um, especially Gardevoir. Um, I mean Jimmy Pendarvis is is. A great player. He's a really, really good player. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of. I was really surprised by how much consistency Nine Tails gives to every single stage two deck in the format. Like this deck has two stage twos in it, but because yeah. it has Nine Tails, it can play. Dude, he got three stage twos in one deck. Mm-hmm. Gardevoir, Swampert, and Solgaleo GX. Yeah, and it's really Phew. it's really not a problem to get all three of them on the board. In fact, sometimes you can get three stage twos up on turn two. Dude, dude, you said I'm afraid of a format that super boost energy prism. Yeah, is a staple. And, yeah. And it is. Yeah. This is the format. This is a prophecy coming through. Like it's in every, I think it's in every like stage two type of deck and in every last March deck, except mine. But it, it, this is the format where super boost. No, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna <laughs> die. It's 2012. We're all gonna die. Yes, yes, we traveled back in time to uh, the yeah. apocalypse. Yes, we're all gonna die. No. <laughs> hey, hey, continue, continue. What um, do you think? I I know for for one thing, I'm really impressed by uh, Swampert. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's uh, the inclusion of Swampert in this deck is really really good. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I don't know necessarily like the Sogalio is really cool and I think it's maybe worth including, but I the only reason you see this card is because we don't have a sideboard or yeah. a, a side deck in this game. Yeah, fair enough. I guess you, you like, cramp it all in one deck. Mm-hmm. And the new cards like can facilitate, you know, this thing being actually effective. Um, and I know another another thing, just from my own like playing online. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't have a Ditto Star, just buy one. Just buy one. Just buy. It's you, too you good. You need it. <coughs> it's too good. All right, we see in this tournament an increase in Blessphilon Neganado, like a, 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 a significant increase in Blessphilon Neganado, and a very good increase in Lost March. Keep in mind, this tournament mm-hmm. has more people than uh, the previous international. It's a regional with 600, 664 people. That's a lot, of, a lot of people in one place. 
So yeah, what do you think about this increase in Blissful and Lost March? <coughs> uh, I mean, I can only assume it's because Americans don't like to think. I don't think Lost March is an easy deck to play. Well, it is. But... Oh, well, I'm more talking about Blissful. Fair enough. Um, but as far as Lost March, um, I mean, obviously there is the 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 comparison to to Night March. Mm-hmm. Um, in that it is a it's a it's a non stage two deck with very tiny weak Pokemon, mm-hmm. but can can absolutely punch you. Yes, yeah, like a resource management type of deck. Mm-hmm. And and more in particular, the twentieth place mm-hmm. uh, Lost March mm-hmm. list, I think, is. A more preferable one. I I don't I don't honestly think you really need super boost yeah. in Lost March. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> and in all honesty, I think one of your better inclusions in the deck overall is uh, Netball. Yeah, <coughs> Netball is um, very solid in this deck. Yeah, and I, it doesn't really play well in well maybe in Sceptile GX. It, it's good, but um, mm-hmm. three mar- three Marsh Oh my god! Yeah, three Marsh. <laughs> like, that's a lot of Marsh Shadows. To ch- I think the strategy is, I I make my setup and I just uh, cripple my opponent. I think I like this type of mentality. Mm-hmm. I respect it. Um. I do also like that it's not just another night march. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you have to work a little bit. Um, yeah. I do. I hate this deck. It, full disclosure, I hate it. Uh. Uh. Why? It's just. I I don't know. I it, I think it's I think it's because. Night March Jump. PTSD. <laughs> well, no, I actually played a lot of Night March. I, I actually kind of like that deck. Uh, my problem is, I think Jumpluff is a dumb-looking Pokemon. Mm. And it's so it, so. It's got if you look at the card, it's got this face where it's just <laughs> it's it's throwing like water at you or something, and it's smiling and laughing as it hits you in the head for 140, 160 damage for one energy. <laughs> and you sit there and, you, and you're and you just thinking to yourself, why can't I do that? Why is this stupid looking puffball just just breaking my nose <laughs> with with puffball fists? Oh, dude, I love your, your, you know, your, your, your opinion on this deck. Like, why do you hate this deck? This Pokemon looks dumb. This is actually a legit argument for why you like or hate a deck. Like, <laughs> I, I, I actually, I actually with you on this one. Like, all right, if you if you hate, you know, I hate Grumble. I think he's dumb looking. So yeah, this, this is actually I can relate to this. I can relate to this. This yeah. simple also conclusion. yeah. And also the inclusion of a generic bird Pokemon. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't like Trumbeak like, being in the deck, but it is a, mm-hmm. necessar- a necessity. All right. All right. Okay. Let's move to Brisbane, Australia, my friend. <laughs> All right. And oh boy, Australia. Uh, we got just the top eight. We got 152 Masters, top 8, uh, Zoroark Decedui, second place Zoroark Decedui, with 9 tails, both of them. Then we got Grumble, mm-hmm. third place. Then f- fourth place is Zoroark Decedui, 9 tails, so that's three of them. Sixth, uh, wait a second, fifth place is Grumble. Sixth place, place, I cannot talk, <laughs> sixth, sixth is the Blazer. Sor Zoroark, like a rock, then seventh and eighth with Malamar, um, with the psychic Malamars. What do you think? We don't have a lot of data um, on that one, but I think this is, uh, with the exception of Gardevoir, mm-hmm. I think you're seeing like sort of the top decks in the format. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you sort of have like another, I think D- tier two is really, really full. 
right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so you go to in sort of tier one, you have like Gardevoir, Decidueye, um, Grendel, the various like Lycanroc um, builds that have different techs in them, and then you have Malamar variants, which can play either the spread. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dawn Wings or Ultra Necrozma, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and that seems like a that seems like a pretty this is a pretty good representation of of tier one, I think. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. All right, all right. Let's conclude this regional section by these couple of questions. First question: What do you think about this format? And the other question is. What's your, you know, tier list for this format? Uh, this format is good enough that I'm actually playing online again. <laughs> and, and I'm actually able to play on, on the versus ladder without throwing my tablet across the room. <laughs> okay. And and in playing that and experimenting with the new decks in the format, I'm convinced that uh, TCG Online takes a look at the deck that you're playing, and the first time that you match and that you that you match up against someone, it gives you your worst matchup. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make you lose. We're gonna make yeah. hate, the, hate the game. We're gonna make you quit. It's like, so I, I was playing. I was playing some uh, baby buzzwall. To, mm-hmm. to get myself, you know, get some games in. And I just kept hitting Metagross. <laughs> oh, and, then, uh, and then I got some cards to build Malamar. And then I played against Malamar. And then I just hit... Uh, what did I hit over and over? Uh, oh, it was uh, Ninetales Decidueye. That I, that everything has, everything's HP is too huge and it just kills you over and over. And destroys your Malamars. Uh, so I was upset, and then I built Nine Tails Decidueye, and then I thought I really don't need to queue into Blacephalon. And then I clicked, and then I clicked play, and I hit Blacephalon. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> and it happened two more times after that oh, in a oh, row. Whoa! 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 Okay, all right. That, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. It, that's crazy. And, it, and it's happening too many times for it to be. It's not random chance. Mm. This is this is the Pokemon Company throwing your worst matchup at you so that you'll continue to buy packs and bo- build more decks. Mm. Yeah. I guess the, the the feeling of frustration, frust, <laughs> frustration, and you know, losing makes you okay. I want to play more. I want to win. I want to win. Please, no. Like <laughs> you sink in this, you know, unending you know, loop of despair. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Um, what about the tier list? What are your opinion on the best decks in the format? Um, so I definitely put uh, um, Blacephalon's tier one, um, Zoroark, Decidueye, Nine Tails is tier one, uh, Nine Tails Guard of War is absolutely tier one, um, Malamar, probably, I probably skew more towards Psychic Malamar. Being in tier one, and then like spread Malamar being in tier two. Mm-hmm. Um, I would actually put Granbull and Lost March sort of in the same slot, and put them both in tier one. I think one point five is the correct yeah. placement for them. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I because you see them win, but not really all the time, but. So one point five is kind of fair. Yeah, and they've got a, they've got a lot of really positive matchups mm-hmm. against most things in the format. Uh, there was one other deck that I was thinking about that's in there. 
uh god i've forgotten it we got uh, zora the sigui we got god mm-hmm. of war we got blissful on we got what do you think about rayquaza in the format uh it's like it's like pro it's i think it's on the border of 1.5 and 2 mm-hmm. the problem is with so much nine tails in the format a mm. choice band a choice band on a nine tails knocks out a, a rayquaza oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah and every Rayquaza that you lose means you have to work really hard to get energy back on the board. Mm, I think Blissfalon is the better Rayquaza in this format. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. And it's sort of like it, it's like at the at the top of tier two, bare minimum. Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. probably fighting. I think like sort of as right below tier one, you have Glaceon, Zoroark, and Rayquaza. I think is sort of like the next mm-hmm. best decks, mm-hmm. mostly because Glaceon. Glaceon is so effective in this format. It's basically an it's an incredibly strong anti-meta deck um, because you shut down all the massive amount of abilities that are in play, mm-hmm. and you have spread damage to deal with non-GX attackers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice. All right, all right. I think that's conclude our you know this f- format. Uh, section and we don't have a lot to talk about I guess um, I think the next or the last thing we're going to talk about is the the new stuff the the GX tag team cards type of thing I don't know what, that, what those are I never read them I ignored them I think they look dumb <laughs> but what's, what's your opinion what's your opinion what's your opinion on uh, I don't know a lot of them are I uh... The designs are good, but I don't think the concept is smart enough. It's not there yet. It like it just I I'm I want to go to the card laboratory and find the person that made these and shake them, punch them in the face, like oh, stop being dumb. <laughs> just just this sitting there. Okay, guys. Okay, we need to come up with a new gimmick and then someone says all right why don't we have tag why don't we have team up cards we'll have two sort of similar pokemon and they'll be on the same card i think it'd be really cool we'll get some new art made and and then someone said yeah and we'll make them all gx's and we get three went, prizes instead of three two. prizes <laughs> and they're all gonna have new mechanics where they need extra energy wait no stop like, it's just too heavy I don't know. I don't feel it. It's like they it's like they shoved five different cards into the same thing. Like they're just they're just stuffed full of nonsense. I guess, yeah. Um and it's kind of frustrating because like the only good one is probably Latios and Latios. Mm-hmm. Because you can put it into Malamar and just hit people over and over with it. Yep. I think with these GX tag teams, every type need an energy accelerator like Malamar for psychics. Mm-hmm. For every type, we need that type of thing. Like Fire got, um, what's the name? Um, uh, Turtle GX, which. Oh, is, yeah, yeah. It, it can accelerate energy. Um, Electric got Zero Aura, which can mm-hmm. accelerate energy too. Zero Aura is amazing, like oh, giving I you that, that free card. retreat. Look, my friend entered the tournament with an electric deck, and it made dude, it 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 it, it performed very well with the item that makes you de- do thirty more damage. Yeah. That, that yeah, item is amazing. It's fun. It's really good. Mm-hmm. I like electric, but its problem is the fighting weakness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh? All right. I think that concludes our main section. So I think let's jump into the Q&A. We are like 34 minutes in. <laughs> oh. Nice. It's we'll get to finish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Efficient. Send. Efficient. Say. Efficient. <laughs> Whatever. That thing. Yes. All right. Q&A section. First question. From my friend AK, as always. How are you? Today, <laughs> mm. I I am awake. 
Awake! Mm. Yeah, you, dude, you look awake with all that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. You're awake. That's good. That's good. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right. Next question is. All right. How does it feel? All right. How does it feel to know that Aziz is playing and pushy, pu pushing the Pokemon Let's Go agenda? Uh, is, is there an agenda? I don't know. Um, like pushing the game, like promoting it. How does it feel of me I mean, playing it and pushing it? I mean, I think it's fine. Mm. Really? <laughs> no, I, you know, just because I, I don't like the let's go. I don't like Pokemon go as, mm. as we've talked about. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that I don't want anyone to play a game that they think will be fun. Mm -hmm. And well, okay. So you bought, did you buy let's go Pikachu or let's go Eevee? I'm afraid. <laughs> 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 I bought Let's Go Pikachu. <laughs> okay, that's not okay. <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> that's not all right. <laughs> I didn't have a problem before. I have a problem now. I have a problem now. Huh? In my defense, I named Pikachu. <laughs> I named him Mayonnaise. <laughs> so I think I I'm fine. Go, I think I'm going to have to go back and watch that stream. Yeah. Or to watch the streams. Yeah, the, 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 there's a lot of Arabic going on. Like, oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But, uh, because nobody, like, um, non-Arab speaker showed up into the stream, so we kept talking Arabic, so that's why. Dude, dude this this amazing thing happened to the, in the stream. Dude, dude, dude. That, was, that was great. Like, um, so I was, I was playing, and then a notification like appeared on the screen like somebody donated me five dollars oh dude i was like my jaw hit the ground i was like <laughs> what thank you my first five dollars government free <laughs> <laughs> I, I was so happy and <laughs> another one donated another five dollars that was ten dollars like I made on the stream, I was so happy that day. Thank you, both of you guys who did it. Like, I, dude, ten dollars. I kept bragging to, <laughs> from front of my wife and friends. Like, whenever they talk, like, okay, shut up. I got ten dollars government free. You do. <laughs> <laughs> Another amazing thing happened on the stream. Uh, some dude showed up. His name is Leo. He, like he, mm -hmm. I think he was non-Arab, and he said, "Hey man, can you help me uh, evolving my hunter?" I said, oh, "All right, let's do this. It's fine. I, we got time on stream. We don't have nothing better to do." <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so uh, because he wanted he wanted to evolve his hunter, uh, we're, we're setting up the trade, and some and some uh, it lagged on his side, and we took like ten minutes instead of like two minutes but in the end we did it anyway and he was so thankful in return when he returned when i returned back his gengar he he sent he said uh, he typed in the chat i'm gonna give you a gift he sent me a shiny nidoran the male one wow well, i was like Fuck, that was amazing like then you get this cool looking blue Nido King. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my friend Leo, wherever you are. That was that stream was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun going on. The game has, you know, um, the game was fun to play. A lot of, you know, uh, you know, nostalgia going on. Uh, mm -hmm. They did a lot of new things, a lot of quirky stuff. It's like it's it's like good to explore. That was that was fun. That was fun. All right, next question. All right. 
Did you watch the Detective Pikachu trailer? Yes. All right. All right. Um, did that Mr. Mime freak you out? <laughs> With the face. Okay. Uh, <laughs> not not really. Uh, right, what do you think about the movie? Like uh, about the movie and Ryan Reynolds uh, uh, dubbing as Pikachu. What do you think about it? The whole thing. Like, give me um, your opinion. Okay, so the movie is going to be bad. <laughs> Oh yeah, but I watch it. The movie's gonna be bad. <laughs> right, go. But but that uh, makes me that makes me even more excited to go see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of tsundere relationship you have with yeah. the movie. <laughs> It's gonna be bad, Baka. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, I guess sometimes the movie being bad makes it, it makes you excited. Like a lot of people, do you think the movie is good? No, but I am curious. <laughs> 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 like this is what the trailer gave us, like the the sense of curiosity. You know what's happening here? The the the, the, the CGI. The CGI Greninja's haunting my dreams. <laughs> I do. I like Ryan Reynolds, mm -hmm. but but if you go back and if you watch the Japanese trailer mm -hmm. or for the game, uh -huh. Detective Pikachu has this very like gruff, manly voice. Oh yeah, and it, it's the best because because it's such it's so different, and I really wish they'd had mm -hmm. someone. Uh, like this, just with a very angry, gruff voice. Like the guy who played, uh, like Josh Brolin, the guy who played Thanos. Mm -hmm. Like I wish he had played Detective Pikachu. Yeah, because he's he's just gonna make it more. I know. Yeah, yeah, we get you going good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. That's good. That's good. All right. Uh, all right. Next question. Was the print of Professor Elm a good idea? Oh, yeah. Professor Elm's great. Hmm. Elaborate, please. Okay. So, Professor Elm is pretty similar to an old card called Pokemon Collector. Mm hmm. Except that the uh, Pokemon Collector. Actually, I think. Hang on. Pokemon Collector might actually be the same. Uh. Oh, I don't know how to type. Uh. It's okay. It's actually better. Oh, so it's, better. it's exact. Mm. Yeah, it's the same as Professor Elm, except that you don't have a restriction on HP. You just put three basics in your hand. Ooh. Oh, boy. Um, but the good thing about Professor Elm is not restricted to basics. Yeah, it's just, yeah, okay. which is there's not there's not many I think less than sixty HP stage ones, but there could be lost must. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Um, but I I don't think there's anything wrong. We had Bridget mm. in the format. It was very similar, and that was I don't think Bridget was a problem. Mm -hmm. Um. And in fact, Elm does exactly what we want to see, which is make stage two decks more consistent. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Next question. Is it nine tail isn't Alola Nine Tails GX two OP? Uh maybe. So um, what's your opinion? Like do you hate do you hate it? Do you like it? Will oh, it, I like, love ru it. ruin the format or will keep it like good? <clears throat> I don't I don't think it'll ruin the format. Mm -hmm. um, okay. The reason being is that its attack is not very strong. Mm -hmm. um, 
like 70 30 is is really weak in this format and even with a choice band doing 100 and then 30 is also really not that good mm -hmm. um if it were doing something if it had an attack like similar to gardevoir and that it took more energies and did more damage i think that would be too op um searching out two items is very strong um part of the other thing is that people don't seem to realize is that the strength of alolan nine tails is not necessarily from nine tails it also comes from vulpix mm -hmm. because you can beacon and then uh guidance get two items you now have you're now plus four per cards basically for nothing mm -hmm. uh which is really strong but that doesn't necessarily win you a game you have to you can get all those cards but if you can't do anything with those cards it doesn't matter all right all right awesome awesome all right next question is game freak Running out of ideas. Uh, yeah, they ran out of ideas in 1999. <laughs> That's 20 years of, of doing nothing. Of repeating yeah. the same thing. Uh. Alright, alright. Uh, okay. Alright, uh... All right, next question. We're having a dilemma in the group, in our Pokemon group. Where, <laughs> yeah, it's a very big dilemma right now. Yeah. Like, memes are everywhere. <laughs> Cringy <laughs> ones, unfunny ones, you know, 3% funny ones. <laughs> so my, quest, my friend's question to you, how can we stop incredibly unfunny memes? Uh, <laughs> so, okay, this is, this is something that has been happening in America a lot. Um, so there's this concept called deep frying uh, and it's not, it doesn't, in this case, it doesn't mean food, uh -huh. but what, what you do is you put a picture. So a picture that's not funny, you put it through a bunch of filters on Photoshop and make it look really messed up. Mm -hmm. And then you stick emojis on top of it. And oh, it yeah, that funny. thing. That's, that's yeah. deep fry. Okay, I did not know that. All right. All right. Yeah, and then it, then it makes something unfunny funny again. Uh -huh. So I think that's your solution. All right. Take all that Pokemon memes, slap filter, slap emojis, slap you know, the horse emoji, everything. Yeah, yeah make it funny again. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, no, that's... Or another another mm -hmm. solution to the problem would actually just to make funny memes, potentially. Oh. <laughs> no, that's a hard one, that's a hard one. <laughs> Alright, right. well, one good question actually. For a Pokemon card game, isn't it about time... We we get to, uh, the Pokemon company separate rock, ground, and fighting types like into separate cards. Oh, um, uh, that kind of opens up a lot. <laughs> it opens up a lot mm. because if you're gonna d separate out rock, ground, and fighting then it doesn't make any sense to not separate out ghost and poison and then you have to separate out ice and flying uh it's fine the way it is the game really i don't think the game can handle 20 different types of basic energy mhm mm mm -hmm. i don't know uh, because we got, we got you know the water ice thing, we got the um, well, whatever what else we got the dark psychic ghost thing, and yeah we got a lot of things like bug type we got poison type we got a lot of them, oh yeah a lot of them types uh, not so I think for the sake of simplicity, you know I don't know I don't know 
Who would have known? Who, um, this is the Pokemon company, the lab we're talking about. People there are crazy. <laughs> People there are, are ha. The high problem on, is, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> now that we've said this, next set they're gonna make a ground type and a new basic energy. <laughs> I guess, dude. dude Pokemon lab, no, there is no predicting them whatsoever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> next question. Would it have been better if they have made Let's Go Meowth? Or was choosing Eevee a good idea? Well, I, I understand why they did it. Like, Pikachu and Eevee are the, the two probably most like cute and iconic Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could have you gone... Like, they're also not starters. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the most popular Pokemon are starters or Pikachu and Eevee. So I think the the choice that that sort of makes sense. Um, Meowth would have been cool. Yeah, I, I think it, I think it would have been potentially really interesting. But I, I see exactly why they did what they did. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. All right. Let me check if we have actually good questions. Some of the questions are dumb. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> dumb, dumb people of the Kuwait community. Stop asking dumb questions. <coughs> uh. All right. Uh, well, for this uh, format, what's, what's your supporter line, like, in general? What supporters do you use? Um, well, I'm, pl- I'm playing Ninetales Decidueye. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause it's like the, the old nine tails Sidui was one of my favorite decks ever. And, and seeing that it's come back is, is really great for me. So I'm playing, uh, I'm playing four Cynth or yeah, I'm playing four Cynthia, three Guzma, four professor Elm. Um, I've been messing around with some other counts. Like I've been messing with judge and Acerola to see where I like those counts to be at. I definitely really like like at least one judge. Um, I'm kind of fiddling around with a second judge. Um, and I think I kind of like, in that particular deck, I like Max Potion over Acerola. Though Acerola is really good and you can do it and like you can chain multiple instances of trade off of one Zoroark and stuff like that. But the amount of the, the rare candies in the deck make it kind of difficult. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's pretty much. It's pretty much the core of it. It's like four Elm, four Cynthia, three Guzma. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I want to think uh, Judge versus Marshadow. Which one is better? Like in your opinion? Well, in my opinion, Marshadow is the better card. Mm-hmm. But but Judge is easier to include in your mm-hmm. deck. I guess. All right. Uh, last question. Last question. Uh, you know, in, 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 the, in the Pokemon Let's Go game, you can make candies out of Pokemon. So you send them yeah. to the Gulag, I mean, Professor. <laughs> yeah. The professor, yeah, the Professor. You send like gajillion one to the Professor, and he gives you candy back. And sometimes he gives you like Pokemon specific candy, like Charmander candy, and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. So the question is what does the Grimer candy taste like? Mmm. Uh, I probably shouldn't say <laughs> what I what I think it tastes like. Mm. <laughs> uh, but I think we can I think we can all guess. We can we can all imagine, yeah. Ba- based on the consistency and the and the texture. Mm. Maybe maybe if it was a Nolan <laughs> Grimer though, looks like ice cream. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah yeah, that, that would bite be. <laughs> Dude, uh, I would like myself like to, you know, a cone ice cream with layers of, you know, a lot of muck, you know. <laughs> that would be great. Mm-hmm. Well, because it would either be ice cream or it would be paint. <laughs> either one, one of one will bring you pleasure and one will make you die, <laughs> die instantly. <laughs> die. So it's like it's like Russian roulette, but it's but like yeah. the uh, it's like the. <laughs> It's like the jelly beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like the jelly beans, but less death uh, with more death in it. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, I remember this. Um, um, I recently subscribed to the channel called Cinnamon Toast Kin. The guy that mm-hmm. re- react to meme and stuff. But what makes him different from other people is like you can't relate to the guy. You feel like okay, that's me. I do this. Like, like he. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's very relatable. So one of the things, like him and the other guy were talking about, it's like when you turn out turn off the last alarm in your alarm clock and you close your eyes, <laughs> <laughs> it's like gambling, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the yeah, other, yeah. Then the other guy said, "I call this job roulette. <laughs> 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 close yeah. my eyes, throw. It. Let's see. I'm gonna lose every single time." <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, my friends, my friend Brian Struggle. Any last words, advice, anything you want to say? Uh, if you haven't purchased two Alola Nine Tails yet, you should do that as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. It's the best. So, we talk about the king of standard, mm-hmm. it was Zoroark. Then for a little while it was Baby Buzzwall. Alola Nine Tails is the king of standard. Yeah. All hell fairy type. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fairy type is is right. I need to I need to buy an Alola Nine Tails plush to <laughs> yeah. hold it up in front of the camera. Just Dude. do you see? Do you see the king? Well. Yeah. I guess, I guess it would be the queen of standard. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, assuming it's gender. I don't know. It's very dangerous know. in 2018. Assuming somebody. Yeah. Gender. <laughs> you don't want to get caught. You don't want to get hated, hated on. Uh-huh. He assumed my gender to be a helicopter. That was rude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm afraid. Chill. All right. Hmm. Dude, I. Uh, ah, 2018. Almost done. <laughs> Almost done. Yeah. Mm. All right, we're the December 2nd right now. Uh, poor world is going crazy. And we're here talking about some Pokemon and stuff. I oh, don't know. <laughs> All right, people on the internet, thank you. Thank you for watching. Till this very second, thank you for sticking with us this long time. Thank you, my senpai, Brian, for being with us. This long time, these all hours. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, yeah. Shukran. In every single day, I will thank you if I can, but I only know like one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This was an hour with Senpai, and we are Brian Starkel. Struggle and Dark Crack U8. See you later. Zerkwati, you're welcome to the mahi, inshallah.